in this video we're going to create this nft minting app with python we're only going to use python we're going to use django as a web framework and turbo sdk as our back end to create smart contract we'll be able to upload an image like this hit submit and actually mint the nft so the first thing that i'm going to do is create a virtual environment and install all my dependencies i'm going to go ahead and activate the virtual environment then i'm going to go ahead and install the dependency let's start with third web after this we will install django and then we will install python.env for our environmental variable using .env ensures that we don't have to expose our private keys inside our code we can keep our private keys safe if you don't know what private keys are they're basically the keys access your wallet and you never ever want to expose that to anyone go ahead and install install django pip install python.env so over here you can see that i've already got my .env file so you don't want to show this to anyone and i will not show that on, or else you will have access to my wallet clear this and we're first going to go create a python file to deploy our smart contract open our code editor i just noticed that the audio is horrible when i was typing out the code to deploy our smart contract so i'm going to walk you guys real real quick through the code it's actually very simple the first thing you need to do is create a .env file in the .env file you will write the private key the private key looks some, something like this. So you will have a variable and in between here, you will type your private key. Never ever show your private key to someone. I'm going to walk you through the code and then you'll see what the dependencies are used. First, we load our environment variables. This will search for a .env file. Then we get the private key from our .env file. In this way, we don't actually see the private key, which is uh, the best practice when you're using private. We define an RPC URL. The RPC URL decides which blockchain you connect to. over here you can see we are connecting to the mumbai network which is the test network for polygon if you would want to connect to ethereum you search up the rpc url for ethereum there are also custom your rpc url but we're not get going into that right now so over here we define which blockchain we want to connect then we provide to a provider the rpc url which actually establishes the connection next up is the signer the signer is necessary to authorize transactions from your wallet. Whenever you write data on the blockchain, you need a wallet to actually approve that transaction. So next up, we're going to instantiate our SDK. To instantiate our SDK, we need to provide a, pro a connection to the blockchain, which is our provider, and then a wallet, which approves any transaction that the SDK is gonna do, which is over here, which is the signer. So it's simply put provider the connection, signer to authorize. And over here, you can see the code that we actually use to deploy our smart contract. So in the SDK, we use the deployer method to deploy the NFT collection. I hope this makes sense. It's actually a very easy piece of code. If you would if you would want to use the dashboard, that's also possible. If you go ahead to turtup.com forward slash dashboard, connect your wallet. You can actually go ahead over here, click create contract click select the network i was on the mumbai and then you can actually go ahead and click nft collection fill in the name and deploy now and that will actually also create so hopefully that makes sense let's get into creating the actual django project so now that we've deployed our smart contract let's go ahead and create our django project oh, we need to activate our virtual environment first all right cool make sure your virtual environment is activated and now we can run awesome my django projects created I'm gonna go into that folder and I'm going to create my awesome now my Django apps created I'm going to go ahead and open my code editor oh wait it's already over here I've got my Django project and my Django app I'm going to go ahead and configure everything the first thing I'm the first thing I'm going to do is drag my .env file and move it to my Django app because I'm going to need my private keys in a bit the next thing I'm going to do is go over to my settings.py and then start configuring some standard Django configuration import OS I'm going to need that in a bit the first thing that, that I need to do is registrate my app I called it third web nft then in a bit over here i need to registrate my templates folder i didn't create that one yet but i'll do that in a bit templates for for index uh, sorry for our html files and then all the way down scroll over here we need to uh, tell django how to find our media files we're going to upload an image and we need to tell django on how to find it because we're not going to make use of a database we're going to make use of our in memory upload we don't want to store anything on a data. So like this, we tell Django where to find the media. We're going to save this and close. Then we're going to go ahead, open euros.py. And we need to tell Django on where our app is and how to find the pages in our app. So over here, what I did was I included the path to my third web NFT app, which is the same name as here, as you can see. The dot URLs is not created yet. We'll create that in a bit. And then over here is the path to our media. File. Save this, close this. Let's go and create a couple of stuff in our file in our app new folder for our html files a new and then 
create a new file in it called index.html see that in a bit and then let's just create a bunch of other folders static for our static files usually you have this for your image images that you want to reference we have one for a folder for our css and then let's call this one third web nft.css and then we need to also create a new file for our internal url routing urls.py so this is our home page and this is our redirect page for when our main thing is successful go ahead and save this then we're going to go to our views.py where we actually create the content of our pages so i'm just going to set up something standard right now and then check whether our app works then we want to render our HTML file and then we'll create one. For, doesn't take a request. Turn a H. We do need to import fonts. Perfect. So now if I go to my terminal and I run this awesome high our standard page. Great. Now let's build out our HTML uh, for, uh, file with a form. Okay. So I went ahead and pasted some HTML code. It's basically a form with a card title, which says mint NFT. And then let me just space it out over here. You have our actual form, which has um which takes in a name some text and then actually a file upload so if i save this and re-render over here you can see file looks right now if i go ahead and click browse and then upload an image over here you can see the selected image now we would like to preview this image and for that we need a little bit of javascript so i'm going to go ahead over here and paste a little bit of a javascript code that will preview the image so over here you can see some javascript it basically reads out uh, an uploaded image and shows it to us re-render the page browse click an image over here you can see we can actually see the image now this is pretty big and we need to stylize it but we'll do that in a bit with css let's first build our um, nft minting function and for that we need to create a new file new file let's call it nft.py and actually we can copy most of this code over here paste it here and then what we need to do over here is we need to create a connection to our smart contract and that's what we're going to do and then what we can do is get our nft collection smart contract and we need to pass the address Go over here copy this paste it save all we need to do now we can import this in our views.py we can go from dot nft collection and then we can use it in our views Pi. now over here first thing what we're going to do is um create an if statement if we get a request request method method equals we get a request for a file first we're going to get all the all the information that we need from our form and then store the variables and then pass it to a dictionary let me show you the first thing that we do is we get the image the name description and image from our form over here this is wrong this actually needs to be this and then the, the id description so what we did here is we get the post request, map each field to a variable. So over here you see name. And if I save this, if I go to my index with HTML, the first input form has ID name. That's obviously this one over here. ID name refers to this one. This input uh, box refers to over here. And the same I do with description, image. And the only thing I'm doing over here is I'm giving my actual image a name. And the props, I'm leaving it empty. You'll see in a bit what that can be used. Then I'm going to define my NFT metadata, which is basically a dictionary. Now I have to find my NFT metadata. I can use the NFT metadata in my uh, smart contract. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the connection to my smart contract. And if I see, look over here, this is the SDK of third web. And I can, in, these are all the methods I can use to interact with my smart contract. And we want to mint an NFT, open it. And now you can see something I forgot to import that will help us convert the dictionary so that the mint function can use all the data inside of it. You can go ahead and say from third web nft nft metadata in and then over here what we can do is nft metadata input now that we've saved this and double check and then what we want to do is as soon as this nft uh, is uploaded we want to return a page that redirects and says now we re-render this page let's upload an image and say moon Knight, and then give it a description of then browse submit it over here you can see that the document is loading we'll go to our dashboard and then over here you'll see the new NFT popping up in our dashboard as soon as the actual minting is done. This might take a while. Over here, you can see our page has loaded to success. So it's redirected and shown us the success page because successfully it successfully successfully minted the NFT. And over here, you can see that Moon Knight, Moon Knight Rocks, that's the information we just passed. These are all old NFTs. This is the NFT we just, and over here, you can see our NFT mint for minting has been, and we can go back to our starting page. Now to style this, I'm going to be very lazy and just copy paste what I already have, which is inside my third of NFT.css code over here on the right, save this. And then if we go back to our index of HTML, we need a couple of things to make use of this, of the static uh, CSS file, which is first we need to 
load static and then we need to reference to Django where the style sheet is save it now if we refresh this there you go and if we upload an image as you can see it actually resizes the image properly so it doesn't take up and that's it guys that's how you build an Django minting app we only use Python we use a little bit of JavaScript to resize the actual image uh, not to resize we show the image but to resize we use CSS I hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to keep an eye on my channel I'll be I'll be sharing more of the things that I've built like this and hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's useful to you guys see you guys in the next video